Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome. So today we are going to look at how to develop your belief system. Okay? How to develop your belief system. I'm saying this because beliefs are very important. What you believe in is generally what you get in life. And so I want us to look at this kind of system. How do you develop a belief system? How do you develop something that you can be working with every day of your life? There is a belief system for both for the poor and the rich. The poor people believe that they are remaining poor, that they have uh, the problems. They believe they blame everyone. They believe that it is the government to be blamed. Uh, the rich people, on the other hand, believe that life is in their hands. Success is what they do and what they don't do. And so there's a difference between what people believe because what you believe becomes how you live. And so let me begin by looking at a, a, a definition of belief. Okay, a belief is something that you believe or accept as true. For example, we Africans have been trained and taught to believe that we are not good enough. We have actually been taught to believe that being white is better than being dark or being black. We have taught to believe that being white means you're smart and being black means you're dumb. But that's not true. Unfortunately, many believe, uh, many Africans have believed this. Many black people have believed this. So that's belief. It is what you believe or accept as true. The second thing is to define the system. What does a system mean? It means these are a set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or an interconnecting network, a complex. It's a complexity or a complex whole. So when we talk about belief system, we are talking about the truth that you believe about yourself working together in an interconnection. Okay, so you believe it and therefore you have a system. That system forms your foundation. A set of principles. A belief system is also defined as a set of principles or procedures according to which something is done. It is an organized scheme or method, okay? So now let's define the belief system. This is a set of principles or tenets which together form the basis of a religion, a philosophy, or a moral code. That's a belief system. Now, the belief system of a person or society is a set of beliefs that they have about what is right and what is wrong, what is true and what is false. For example, in Kenya, we have this thing going on in central Kenya, where they believe that the ways, the traditional ways are, are correct and the new or the Christian way is not correct. Some people believe that, for example, Jesus Christ is the son of a white man and therefore he has brought white religion. But again, it's a belief system. It doesn't have to be true, but it is true to those who believe in it. So the question I have for you is this. What is your belief system? What do you believe in? A belief system is a set of beliefs, as I've said, or principles that help us interpret our everyday reality. Okay? Understand, organize, and make sense of the world. How you see the world is not usually how the world is, but it is how you are. Someone said that people don't see the world as it is, but they see the world as they are. Therefore, if you're able to change your beliefs and begin to see the things that you believe or begin to change them, you begin to change your view. In other words, if you want to change a person, the first thing that you must change is their belief system. What do they believe in? If you're able to change their belief system, then you're able to change them. If someone wants to change you, the first thing that they have to do is to change your belief system. And if they are able to change your belief system, they have succeeded in changing you. So I have a few questions that I want to ask you today about your belief system. If you are writing or if you are listening or if you are watching, you can write these questions down. What do you believe about relationships? What do you believe about marriage? 
What do you believe about God? What do you believe about wealth? What do you believe about women? What do you believe about men? What do you believe about children? What do you believe about education? And lastly, what do you believe about life? If you are able to define what you believe in each of these set of questions that I have asked, then you are generally, you can, if you can answer those questions, you can be able to look and see the belief system that you have been operating in. And you can also answer the questions. If you answer those questions, you can answer the question why life is so frustrating for you or why life is so good to you. The things you believe about yourself, the things you believe about others, and the things you believe about the world form who you are. Okay? So the question I have is, do you have a belief system? And what kind of belief system do you have? Is it yours or has it been developed for you? Is your belief system influenced by others? Is your belief system the best there is? Or is there room for you to improve? What you believe makes you who, what you are. What you believe determines what you can achieve. And what you believe determines the kind of life that you will have. What you, for example, what you believe about marriage will determine the kind of spouse you get married to. It will determine whether your marriage will work. It will determine whether you get married at all. What you believe about children will determine how you raise your children. It will determine how you relate to your children and it will determine how they relate to you. What you believe about life will determine what you attract in life and what you achieve in life. Belief systems are serious systems. Don't joke with beliefs. Don't ignore beliefs. These are things that can make or break your life. Now, let's look at the last part. How do you develop a belief system? The first thing that you do is begin by developing a thought pattern. A thought pattern is developed by you taking charge of your thoughts and being very intentional about the things that you are thinking about. For example, if you notice that there is a negative thought coming into your mind, you flash it out or you block it with a positive thought. If you notice that you're about to complain about something, it may be a reality, it may be the truth, but instead of complaining about that thing, very quickly think about another thing that is good and begin to talk about that good thing. You will immediately have quashed or silenced this negative thought. And what you will begin to do is that you will begin to develop a habit of thinking the correct thoughts or thinking in the right way. So you'll begin to develop a thought pattern of positivity. There are many bad things that may happen to your life, but when those things happen, don't pay attention to them. Pay attention to the good things that are happening because there are also very many good things that will happen in your life. The sad thing is that we usually uh, magnify the bad things that have happened in our lives. When you listen to people talk, they say, if only you knew what I've been through in this life, I am here by God. If only you knew the struggles I have had to go through. So in other words, they amplify the struggles. They amplify the suffering. They amplify the poverty. And at the end of the day, how they crown it is by saying, I am here by God. Instead of saying, if you know how God has been good to me, he blessed me with this and blessed me with that and blessed me with that. And because of those blessings, I am here. Because even the challenges you face are also blessings. Number two, develop a system. Begin to create a network and a process and a system of number one, thinking the right thoughts. But number two, a system of growth and a system of prayer. Make sure that you are constantly growing and make sure that you are constantly praying. Those two things must go hand in hand. 
growth and prayer. You must become a growth, uh, someone who desires growth, and you must also become prayerful. The number three thing that you have to do, evaluate what you already believe. Once you begin to evaluate the things that you already believe, you will begin to see that there are things that you need to kick out of your life and there are things that you need to maintain in your life and there are other things that you need to allow into your life. There are also other things you will begin to know that you don't need them in your life. Evaluate what you already believe because I'll tell you the truth. You are where you are in life because of what you have believed about yourself, because of what you believe about others, because of what you believe about life. That is why you are where you are. If you believe life is hard, you are experiencing a hard life. If you believe life is good, you are experiencing a good life. When I talk about belief, I'm not just talking about wishful thinking. I'm talking about something that possesses your mind, something that possesses your spirit, something that possesses your physical body, and you believe in it with everything you've got. I'm not just talking about you sitting somewhere and wishing things are happening. No, I'm talking about a possession. It possesses you. This uh, good stuff, positivity, having a proper belief system becomes your possession. Number four, change what needs to be changed. If there's one thing that many of us human beings are afraid of, it is changing. You're afraid of changing. You're afraid of embracing new things or leaving old things. You have to decide what you want. You can go for new things and experience new challenges and new successes. Or you can remain with the old and continue experiencing old fights and old battles. But you've got to do something about the change that you are, so that you're able to develop a proper belief system. So I pray for you that you'll begin to learn how to embrace a belief system. As the Bible says, we need to have renewed thinking that Christ may renew our minds because we are new creation. So I pray for you and I ask you today to develop a proper belief system. God bless you.